Okay, in one segment of the Baller Alert interview with uh, DeVal and Crystal, there was a part where they talked about, you know, uh, the difficulty of filming some scenes. And no, not the sex scenes. You know, we've heard that, you know, just talked about to death by actors on various Tyler Perry shows about what the scenes are actually, you know, like in real life versus what it seems to be on screen. But um, this was pertaining more to, I want to say, wasn't it either the season two mid-season finale or episode 11 when the series came back after the hiatus for season two uh the breakup scene between zach and patimo where he lied about sleeping with connie or you know epping connie and then he threw a tantrum and stuff uh but basically i wanted to highlight the importance of you know the actors and how they get ready for a you know scene like that so I'm going to play the audio because I don't want to risk, you know, uh, copyright infringement by putting, you know, a clip that's like a minute long on here. So I'll just play the audio. You can hear how DeVal and Crystal got in a character for that specific scene. And we'll come right back to discuss it more. This has become one of my closest friends. But then when you get on set and you got to scream and call bitches and cry and be, you can't just put away all of that love. So for days leading up to that scene, we didn't talk. We gotcha. didn't talk. We didn't, we didn't text. We didn't. We just knew that that scene was coming up, mm -hmm. and then I, I had to go into that scene, and I could tell that she wasn't ready for me to do that because the way she looked at me and responded, you remember the scene where she got up slow motion, mm -hmm. said, you, I've been keeping niggas off me for you? <laughs> that that wasn't acting. Uh -uh. That was Crystal living in that space mm -hmm. and being called a bitch and being watching me act that way and watching her respond. Even talking about it now kind of like, brings me some emotion because I had never seen Crystal like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And seeing Crystal like that acting as Fatima, when you see me break down at the end, it was almost like, I hope I didn't hurt my friend. Mm. You know, so that's how we got through that. Yeah. Yeah. So as you can see, it just goes to show how you can tell how much care and thought goes into particular episode, you know, um, recording sessions that the cast do so much emotional and mental prep work to make these scenes truly feel real. Like I remember uh, Deval tearing that kitchen up uh, in his home. Didn't he like throw a chair or something and break some glass and whatnot? No, I think he even kicked the chair so hard his shoe flew off. And I remember he did that scream before we faded to black. It was really intense. And it, it reminded me of that interview I did with Amir last year talking about Jeremiah and what went into the role, um, you know, due to uh, Amir's real life, you know, former addiction and going to jail and whatnot. And it really shows in his acting because of how raw uh, Jeremiah's, uh, you know, is as a character. So it just adds a extra layer of their respect to the craft. And just based off the cast talking about, you know, um, previous seasons but at the same time what to expect going into season three i certainly feel like season three is going to be one for the record books now will it be my favorite season i, I can't tell you yet I, I i've seen as much as you've seen the the trailer um the these cast interviews they're really hyping it up and let me just say so far they're, they're two for two the cast are two for two from, you know, in terms of them hyping up the season, we actually get the season and it's like, oh, dang, okay, this was actually pretty good. So I really want to know if um, season three will be my new favorite season. Now, honestly, I think it might, I, it, it, it could be, because it's funny how I remember Sister Season 7, that first half, I'm like, woo, it's going to be number one. Oh, then that second half, no, that, that just killed it. It's sad because Season 7 was going to be a top contender for me but that second half just, it killed the momentum. But Zatima has yet to disappoint me. The only disappointment I've had with Zatima is the fact that it took this long for season three to come out. So please, let's, um, fingers crossed that the uh, series lives up to the hype. But honestly, I feel like it will. These the, the cast, I think that just based on these interviews, and the proof is in the pudding. The chemistry on screen is what we see in real life whenever they post about you know hanging out and stuff like that not to mention you could tell every single person puts their all 
into whatever scene they film, even if they're just kind of like in the background of a scene by their facial expressions and whatnot. I don't know. L let me stop because I can just go on and on about, you know, the fantastic cast and whatnot. But uh, yeah, just a couple more days and uh, we'll see the fruits of their labor. Now, again, I'm just really wondering, dang, I wonder if there are any Zach and Fatima scenes in this season to rival that of season two, because season two, Zach has some pretty emotional scenes like the the breakdowns, whether it be in therapy or in the car with Fatima, his mom dying of the breakup between him and Fatima. It, it's, it's wild. So with that being said, thank you, Baller Alert, for posting this. This was a very great clip to watch. And uh, yeah, that's all I have for you. Please like and subscribe. It helps out more than you know. And I will catch you in the next video.